Let's discuss hepatitis, its differential diagnosis in Western and Chinese medicine. Let's start with the Western differentiation. Hepatitis could be caused by, hepatitis is inflammation of the liver caused by first infection from parasites, bacteria, viruses, that's hepatitis B, A, B, or C. It could also be due to liver damage from alcohol, drugs, poisonous mushrooms. It could also be due to immune cells in the body attacking the liver, causing autoimmune hepatitis. Hepatitis A will present with jaundice, fatigue, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, low-grade fever, pale stools, dark urine, and itching. Hepatitis B will present with fatigue, malaise, aching joints, low-grade fever, nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, abdominal pain, jaundice, and dark urine. Hepatitis C will present with jaundice, abdominal pain, fatigue, lo loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, pale stools, low-grade fever, dark urine, itching, ascites, bleeding varices from dilated veins on, in esophagus. Autoimmune hepatitis will present with dark urine, loss of appetite, fatigue, malaise, abdominal distension, itching, pale stools, nausea, and vomiting. Drug-induced hepatitis will present with jaundice, fatigue, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, dark urine, diarrhea, and pale stools. Alcoholic hepatitis will present with loss of appetite, nausea, Chondis, abdominal pain and tenderness, fever, ascites, weight gain, mental confusion, dry mouth, excessive thirst, and fatigue. Common risk factors include intravenous drug use, multiple sexual partners, unprotected intercourse, contaminated foods, foreign travel, alcohol abuse, organ transplant recipient, HIV positive or having AIDS, blood transfusion before 1990, healthcare worker, and having a tattoo. Now let's go to the Chinese differentiation. Let's start with organ interrelationships. With, uh, let's look into the spleen and stomach, liver and gallbladder, the internal and external relationships. Liver and kidney, the Shang cycle. Liver and spleen, spleen and kidney in the Ku cycle. TCM diagnosis of jaundice. If it's acute, developing quickly, it's due to damp heat. If developing slowly, it could be due to cold, damp, or spleen deficiency. If the jaundice is bright yellow or yellow-orange, it's due to damp heat. If it's dull, darkish yellow, it's due to damp, cold, damp, or spleen deficiency, or qi and blood stagnation. The TCM diagnosis of hypochondrial pain. There's intermittent aching or descending pain, difficult to localize and worse with stress, it is due to liver chi stagnation. If it's fixed stabbing pain, worse with pressure, it means blood stasis. If it's dull ache relieved with pressure and worse when tired or stressed, it's liver yin deficiency. If it's a continuous severe pain and fullness, risk with pressure, it's due to damp heat. Now, on its etiology, damp, it can be due to damp heat, toxic heat, spleen deficiency, chi, and blood stagnation. The Zanfu organ patterns, if it is excess, it can be due to stagnation of liver chi, liver chi invading the spleen, Damp heat in the spleen and stomach, damp heat transforming into fire in the liver, gallbladder, and brewing toxins. It would also be damp heat harassing the nutritive chi and blood, blood stasis obstructing the network vessels, phlegm nodules, and phlegm nodules. In deficiency, it could be cold dampness accumulating. Um, Cold dampness accumulating internally is also an excess pattern. For deficiency, we have liver and kidney yin deficiency and spleen and kidney yang deficiency. Thank you for your attention.